Okay, so I just filmed this really good video, but there was a screaming mom outside the whole time. And like, you couldn't even hear me over the screaming mom. Screaming moms. Be very wary of the screaming moms. So, all right, I'm filming this video because this morning, I was watching this person's video, this guy's video, and he's a really good artist, and like, I follow him. And I'm thinking to myself, like, like, I don't even know what this guy looks like. I just see his hands, so I'm like, and then I'm thinking to myself, like, nobody knows what I look like either. Like, the, so, like, nobody knows what I look like. So, to prove that it is me that is doing these drawings, other than the voice, <laughs> bam, sucker, that's the drawing from today. So, therefore, you know that I am the one that's doing these drawings. Um, also, I want to talk about <laughs> Gryffindor. Okay, I want to talk about Gryffindor, right? Like, so Gryffindor is the... It's like the house that you're supposed to like, which is no fun, right? Then you got... Right? Then you got <laughs> Ravenclaw. Ravenclaw is like the underdogs. So, like, if you like the underdog, that's pretty cool. If you like Slytherin... Most of us artists, we're like, we're mysterious and dark. So many of us, we probably like Slytherin. Mm -hmm. If you're an artist, you probably like Slytherin. Maybe? Unless you're like one of these artists that doesn't have a dark side, which is very, <laughs> which is very rare, man. Um, and Ravenclaw, man, Ravenclaw just doesn't get enough credit, man. Like, at all. Like, Ravenclaw is only famous for, like, this Chinese girl or this Asian girl that, like, had a relationship with Harry. And that was it, man. So, alright. So, moral of the story is, is, like, if you like Gryffindor, like, they're just overrated. Like, they're the ones you're supposed to like. By the way, I'm trying not to, I'm, I'm like, not flexing. I just, I have a hard time, like, filming myself without, like, flexing. You know, people tell me that I should, I'd probably get more views if I took off my clothes. It's an inside joke with me and my family. <laughs> I just talk about how, like, art artists, like, you know, the girls on TikTok, they're, like, all hot and stuff, and they, like, remove most of their clothes, and then they, like, film these, like, like videos while they're drawing, and they, like, have hardly any clothes on. They have, like, thousands and thousands and thousands of views, and all of us guys, we get, like, no views. Like, very few. <laughs> so, the moral of the story is, if you want to get more views, take off your clothes. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. No, but seriously, it's an issue. <laughs> TikTok has a serious issue with people taking off their clothes and getting more views than people that don't take off their clothes. <laughs> Let's be real here. <laughs> it's so messed up, man. Like, it's so messed up. It's like, okay, it's like, keep your clothes on, man. It's like, we know you can draw. Or just keep your clothes on in general, man. Like, seriously. It's so unfair to us, like, the people that keep our clothes on. <laughs> this is the kind of stuff I talk about with my family, and this is the kind of stuff I think about when I'm drawing. I'm like, dude, I'm like, my videos get, like, 200 views at the most. I'm like, this girl that has, like, half the talent that I do, like, she removes her clothes and she paints sitting down, and everybody's like, oh my god, this is so amazing. She's got, like, 35,000 views. It's like, what in the world is going on, man? We live in such an unfair world of people that remove their, their clothes. Alright guys, I hope you're having fun. Much love. <laughs> Take care. <laughs>